game day in Murray. There's signs all over town, good luck tonight racers, go racers. Everybody will start getting focused on the game, the blue and goes, the restaurants will be full of the blue and gold. Pull out all the stops, wear your best suit, because we've got a game at home tonight. I would say the majority of the town is at the game, so it's probably pretty quiet outside the gym. It's been that way for many, many years, and of course the success that Murray State basketball had, that breeds it. We've been good, it's we've tradition. been winning for a long time, and all you gotta do when you go into the arena is to look at all those banners. We're a small town. We're, you know, in the middle of nowhere. It's not a lot to do in Murray. You know, that's why the basketball team means everything to this town. Any place you go, they want to talk about basketball in Murray. Here, go ahead and hold that up, Mark. That was the All-American selection. That was your senior year? Yeah, it was my senior year. Mainly we go down to uh, High Burger, and then there's another place called the Hungry Bear where people come, and then there's another place called Martha's. I guess it's our identity. You know, it's our town's identity. It's what's put Murray, Kentucky on the map. Five generations of us that are racer fans. Ticket for Jeremy, Jeremy's my son. Ashlyn, his daughter, B14. That's my seat. When I heard that uh, Susan Souter had a birthday list of all the guys and their favorite cakes on her refrigerator, I wasn't surprised at all. That's the kind of fans you have here at Murray State. Since I'm a teacher, of course, all the kids are crazy about every single basketball player. And they'll come into class and say, hey, I talked to Ed last night. Oh, really? Where'd you see Ed? I didn't see him. We were tweeting. I really don't even call most of them fans. Most of them are friends, family. And when I came in as a freshman, they took me in as if I was born and raised here. I started calling it home, away from home. We've got a great network of people here who really embrace our guys uh, like I've never seen anywhere that I've been. Coach Prohm is extremely devoted to Murray. I think he'd be hard pressed to find a place that he'd rather coach than Murray State. Most guys, y'all working today. He had an opportunity to leave last year with a lot more money than we could pay here. And he likes his community and why we might keep him here now because he's engaged to a Murray girl. It's like from the newlywed game. Oh gosh, yeah it is. You can watch during basketball games and they'll both be yelling at the same player, <laughs> telling him to do the same thing. Family is, is everything. Uh, I think that's why you do what you do. Family on three, one, two, three. Family. Let's go. I mean, they're like your sons. He loves those guys more than anything, and I think they love him equally in return. Anything I need to come and talk to him about, he's there for me. He's more of my mentor than anything. Coach treat us like we're all his sons, and we try to go out there and play for him. Senior night is probably the most emotional night of the year for everybody. Senior night is the night that you honor them, and uh, I think it's a bittersweet night. It's like one of your kids leaving and you know saying bye. It can be pretty tough. It's real tough. Mm -hmm. I've known them for five years, and, and now they're going on to a new stage of their life, and, and that's hard. There was no shortage of tears shed on senior night. 2013, senior. It was sad knowing that that was going to be the last time they were on the floor and that we could rejoice in their successes. Jordan Burge, you know, he's a walk-on. He's a local kid, 20 minutes up the road, been coming to Murray State games his whole life. I get to play a few minutes. Usually when we're up 20 points at the end, coach will throw me in. He's won 105 games along with Ed and Isaiah, and he's never scored a basket. Zero. I have scored zero points in my career. And he'll be part of great trivia questions one day. On senior night, Isaiah Cannon, who is arguably the most decorated and best Murray State player in history, he went up to Coach Prohm during shoot-around and said, hey, Coach, I've been thinking. Let's let Jordan start in my place. Jordan Bird spent a lot of time here with us, and he deserved it. And I just wanted to see a smile on his face. And when they announced my name, and just going through the huddle, giving everybody high fives and chest bumps, I was just, I was so like jacked up. 
regardless of the role he played on this team, those guys love him. And they want him to have that moment. And the guys looked as happy as he did when he came through the starting lineup. I talked to Jordan after the game, and you know he said that was you know one of the best moments of his life, and he'll never forget it. And for Isaiah to understand how important that was to Jordan shows a lot about Isaiah's character. I think the most important thing that we're doing here is developing young men. They're not just playing basketball. They're learning how to, to use their talent for good. USA Today came down last year and did a story on what's in the water in Murray, Kentucky <laughs> that's made this basketball program so successful. Well, it's the people. Players go, coaches go. The one constant is the community. We're not just fans of the team. We're friends of the team. When your friends and your family lose, it affects you completely different. The Rangers come out on the losing end of this win to Southeast. You know, I'm just disappointed for these for these six seniors how it ended. You know, you dream of the perfect moment in the Hollywood script, and um, it's still out there for us. We just got to keep working. Regardless, we don't quit cheering for our team. We don't quit supporting our team. Right. Good job. Win or lose, we're we're going to be there to support. The basketball team, you know, does such a great job of, uh, of carrying the, the banner for Murray, Kentucky. So many people here are, are as happy as they've ever been in their life being in Murray. They don't, they don't want to go anywhere else. You know, they grew up here, they met their wife here, their husband here, they have kids that go to school here, their kids will go to Murray State, and their kids will come and they'll be season ticket holders, and then they'll start the chain all over again.